good afternoon good morning whatever time of the day it is for you i don't know because you could either be in third fourth or fifth so definitely make sure that if you are in this watching this that you're in third fourth or fifth with that being said good day marshall marvels this is mr reyes i'm your computer tech teacher you should probably know that by now if you don't then hmm anyways though um Let's see. I hope everyone is having a good day. How's your day going? Hopefully it's going well. Um, and if it's not, hopefully it gets better. And if it's going well, hopefully it gets better as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just go ahead and jump on into this. All right. So we're still kind of like piggybacking off what we learned last week about, you know, safety and being, you know, a good person on the internet and everything. Okay. So this one, we're looking at a presentation called be a super digital citizen, a super digital citizen. Remember, we established that a, a citizen is someone who is a part of something. And if you're a digital citizen, then that means you're a citizen of someone of, of, of something that's like on the Internet. OK, when us being on the Internet, you're a digital citizen. When you're on teams with your teacher, you're a digital citizen. OK, when you're on the hub doing your lessons, you're a digital citizen. OK, so. Let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and get that. Essential question. How can we be upstanders when we see cyberbullying? How can we be upstanders when we see cyberbullying? What's an upstander? Does anybody know what an upstander is? We know what cyberbullying is, right? But what's an upstander? Hmm. Let's think about that. Maybe we'll find out later on in the slides. Learning objectives. Let's go over what we're going to learn over today. What we're going to learn about, rather. Number one, reflect on the characteristics that make someone an upstanding digital citizen. Number two, we're going to recognize activities of cyberbullying. And number three, we're going to show ways to be an upstander. There goes that word again. To be an upstander by creating a digital citizenship superhero comic strip. Okay. So, do you have a favorite superhero? If so, who is it and why? If not, why not? So, I'm sure most of you have a favorite superhero. We've all seen the Avengers. We've seen all of the Marvel movies. Okay. Who's your favorite? You got to have a favorite. Or you can even have two favorites. Who is it and why are they your favorite superhero? Think about why they're your favorite superhero. If you don't have a favorite superhero, why not? Is there maybe somebody is there maybe somebody who who you wish had these particular type of powers but you haven't seen that superhero yet, you know? So, directions, we're going to take a moment to think silently about these questions. Okay? Think about who it is that is your you can pause the video at any time if you need to think take a moment and think about your favorite superhero and why that person is your favorite superhero okay then take turns sharing your response with your partner i know we're at home right now you don't necessarily you might be with somebody you maybe your brother or sister maybe they're taking their class right now so don't bother them but just think about it by yourself. If you have a parent that maybe you can discuss it with an older brother, an older sister, think about why this superhero is your favorite superhero. OK. So we're going to watch a little video real quick. Let's go ahead and give this a watch. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's wait. Who in the world are you? I'm Super Digital Citizen. Ta-da! Super Digital Citizen? Are you from another planet? Nope. Can you fly? Apparently not. And why do we need you, Mr. Superhero? Think about it. Every day, kids post, share, play, create, explore, and learn all online. The digital world can be a sinister place. 
So I make sure that kids are safe, responsible, and respectful. Huh, I guess we do need superheroes like you. Yep, I'm all about helping us kids make good choices. That sounds like one tough day job. says we can all be superheroes each and every day. What are your superpowers? Okay. So, let's think about what we saw in the video. Okay. We saw the the we saw the little kid who was it like the orange guy? It was like the guy who was in orange or yellow. He was like putting, he was putting a password in and he put, he put his password as password one, two, three, four. And what did the superhero come and said? No, no, no. He shook his head. No, he raised his password. And I think he put like superhero or something like that, but with the money symbol and then like with another number. Okay. So it's like whenever you set your passwords, you want to make sure you don't, you don't set your password. If you're, if my name is, is Isaac Reyes. I'm not going to put my my password to be Isaac Reyes one, two, three, four. Anybody can guess that. OK. But if I want to change my password to just a random number and text, then it's harder for people to to figure that out. OK. Digital citizen. OK. What do we say a digital citizen was? We said a digital citizen was someone who uses technology responsibly to learn, create, and participate, okay? Someone who uses technology responsibly, key word right there, responsibly, to learn, create, and participate. Cyberbullying, we know this one. We went over this last week. I think we even went over um, Digital Citizen last week. Cyberbullying, using digital devices, sites, and apps to intimidate, harm, and upset someone. being mean to someone on the internet that's cyberbullying that's the easiest way you can put it when you're mean to someone on the internet you're being a cyber bully we don't want to do that i don't like cyber bullies nobody likes a cyber bully okay so we're not going to do that so here goes this word remember we were talking about what does the word upstander mean right and i said maybe we might find out later on well, here we go. An upstander is a person who supports and stands up for someone else. A person who supports and stands up for someone else. Okay. So if you see someone getting picked on, if you see someone getting cyber bullied, if you see someone getting regular bullied in real life, you can be an upstander by sticking up for them. You stand up to them. Hey, leave that kid alone. You don't have to mess with him or her. Why are you messing with him or her? You can be an upstander. That's someone who's nice. A cyber bully is someone who is mean. An upstander is someone who is nice. Okay? So directions. Work with your partner. You don't have a partner. But just think in your head. Okay? Think in your head to review the scenarios. Then write what a super digital citizen... What a super digital citizen would do to be an upstander. Okay, so think about it. You can get it right now. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and a pencil. Okay, get a piece of paper and a pencil and write about what you think an, a, a, dig, a super digital citizen would do to help someone else, to be an upstander, to help someone else. Okay, what would they do? If they saw someone getting bullied, what would they do? 
right? I want you to give me at least a sentence or two and let me know what they would do to be an upstander. You can pause the video and you can fill and you can, you know, write out your, your, your answer. Okay. Pause the video, write out your answer and then press play when you're ready to continue. Okay. Okay. So you're going to follow each step to create a digital citizen superhero. This superhero will fight cyberbullying by being an upstander and a super digital citizen. Okay. So still, we're still thinking about what a, what a super digital citizen would do to help somebody else out. Okay. And write that sentence. Okay. So this is where we can get creative. Okay. So I want you to, on that same piece of paper, you can use the rest of what's at the bottom. You can use the back of it. Okay. You can, if you have some colors, if you only have a pencil, you can use a pencil. If you have a pen, use a pen. If you have markers, crayons, whatever it is, color pencils, whatever it is that you have. All right. So choose one of the problems. Okay. And create a comic strip in which your superhero is an upstander against cyberbullying. Okay. And saves the day. Use illustrations and captions to tell your story. So think about a, a comic book. A comic book is is almost like a strip of little boxes, and in each little box, there's there's a different part of the story. Okay. So I want you to think of a think. Come up with a little a little scenario of someone being cyber bullied. Someone being bullied, and you and you being a super digital citizen are helping them out. You are being an upstander. You are helping them out. Think about, think about that and draw out the pictures for me. Okay. You can do it in three or four boxes. You can do it as many boxes as you can make the story as long as you want it to be. Okay. But at least give me at least two boxes of someone getting bullied and then you coming in and helping them out. Okay. You can draw it. You can use, like I said, you can use different colors draw it. You're going to get creative with this. Okay. But m what's most important is I want you to know, I want you to be able to identify what cyberbullying is and what upstanding someone is, what being nice to someone is. Okay. So in conclusion, we are kind and generous. Oh, at any moment you could, you could pause this video and you can, you can do your comic book strip and then you can press play when you're finished with that. Okay. But remember, just keep it in time because you all, you will eventually have to go back to class. So, but in conclusion, this is the last slide. We are kind and generous. We are kind and generous. Two very important words, kind. Oh, I'm sorry. I read this totally wrong. I looked at it and for some reason I thought it said generous. We are kind and courageous. My apologies. It's kind of late in the day for me. I've been working all day. So yeah. Anyways, though, we are kind and courageous. Okay. We are kind and courageous. Two very important words, kind and courageous. Okay. We want to be good people in every aspect of life. We want to be kind in every aspect of life. We want to be courageous in every aspect of life. In real life and online when we're on the internet, okay? Nobody likes a bully. I don't like a bully. Nobody likes a bully. Okay? So let's be nice and not be bullies to each other, okay? And that goes for everything, not just online, but in real life. Okay. So with that being said, that's the end of today's lesson. Um, if you still haven't finished up your comic book strip and you still have some time before you have to go back to your regular teacher, to your, your, to your actual, you know, your classes and stuff, then finish up your comic book strip and just keep those keep those. You don't, you don't have to email them to me or anything like that, or, or take a picture or anything. I want you to keep those for right now. 
maybe later on whenever we're actually in school, then I'll probably get those from you if you still have them, okay? But I want you to do those for me right now, and that's the end of today's lesson, okay? So with that being said, I want you guys to have a good day. Um, be safe, be kind, be courageous, just like this says, okay? Be kind and courageous and enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe, and I will see you guys next week, okay? So Mr. Reyes is out, and y'all have a good day. Bye.